Well, with the continued guidance on staying local to exercise, this week has given me the chance to visit somewhere I've never fully explored before. The Cwm Clidach walking route in Clidach. The route itself begins in the RSPB Nature Reserve, home to a large variety of birds and wildlife. Until 1962, much of Cwm Clidach was a working coal mining valley, and that's the journey I'm making today. The largest colliery opened in 1863 by Clidach Merthyr Company, and that was known locally as Nixon's. The mine stopped producing coal in 1961, and now the walk follows the old tramway up the valley. Journey-wise, it's around nine miles and should take you four hours and ten minutes to complete, but with some amazing things to see along the way, it's more like five. The circular walk travels alongside the lower Clidach River, through woodland and onto unspoilt common land, with sites of archaeological interest and spectacular views. More on that later. I'd also suggest some pretty good footwear and waterproofs, as the terrain is fairly boggy in quite a few places. In winter, like today, buzzards, red kites and ravens are fairly common sights in these cold conditions. The route is perfect for those searching for some scenic views or some simple peace and tranquility. There's also an abundance of farm life along the way, and if you're especially lucky, even donkeys and alpacas at the end of the route. For me, the highlight is Manith Khan Lechart. The mountain offers spectacular views over the Swansea Valley and nearby towns such as Pontadawe. But the area also features sites of archaeological interest which date back to the beginning of the Bronze Age. The most notable of these sites is the burial chamber and one of the largest stone circles anywhere in Wales. The ring of 25 stones may be all that remains of a burial mound dating back to around 1500 BC. There's also other incredibly large but strange stones scattered right across the landscape. Next up is Gethlionen Chapel. First built in 1962, it's actually one of the oldest surviving chapels in the region and still used today. 
So that's it. Feel free to subscribe and comment with your favourite part of the route. Or why not recommend some other great local walks in the section below.